Hi, Tom here from King's Auto Repair, and today I want to talk to you about fluid film. Uh, we've been using this the last couple years with really good results, and I want to show you exactly what we do and what our guarantee is on it. So, fluid film is a lanolin based undercoating that we've been spraying on cars for about four or five years now. And we found out that this works really well as a rust deterrent, rust proofing agent in the Northeast here. I believe last year they actually came out with this black formula and we switched over to the black because you know what? It looks a little bit better when it's done. Uh, but this stuff really does work. Uh, we sprayed it on all our vehicles except this one, which we're going to spray today. And then we're going to show you exactly what we do and how we do it. So if you want to keep your car a long time here in the Northeast and you drive around in the wintertime, fluid film is something you may want to consider. It actually protects your car after the factory paint has started to wear away. The factory paint will last about two, three years before it starts to be taken off by road dirt and other stuff that hits it the underneath of the car. And when that happens, it exposes the raw metal again, and that raw metal is actually porous, and it collects water and salt and starts to rust the car out. What this product does is it actually soaks into those pores. Being that it's lanolin-based, which lanolin is oil from sheep's wool, which makes this non-toxic, unlike other coatings, it also stays pliable as it soaks in. So... A lot of other products are asphalt based and over time those start to crack and when the cracks happen they actually hold the salt and the water in them. This product does not crack. It will come off in areas where the water hits it all the time like in wheel wells and places like that but underneath the car and inside rocker panels it will not crack and hold water. So that's why we really believe in this product. We've sprayed it on four of our vehicles so far, and it has basically stopped the rust from expanding through the vehicle. If you plan on keeping your car a long time, this is probably the best thing for you to do. Now, I wanna show you how we actually apply this and what we do the first time you come in. Subsequent times when you bring your car in, We'll just touch up the hot areas, like the areas where it wears off. But what we do is we start off with our gun here with our extensions. And we go in all the tight places. We have two different styles. This one here just shoots straight in. And this one here provides a fan effect. It has a whole bunch of little holes all the way around to do 360 coverage inside of different spots. So we'll start off with this because we don't want to spray the outside and everything to make it look good starting off because it just makes everything much messier. So let me grab my airline here. And the first place we're going to start is up inside what they call the rocker panel, which is the metal piece here at the bottom of the car where you get in. So we're going to take this and we already took the body plugs out just so we can speed this up. Usually this is closed up. So we're going to feed this in as far as it goes. Pull the trigger and slowly pull it back. The other side. So the reason we're going into these body panels like this is because water can be held inside here and the car will actually rust from the inside out. 
So what we're doing is we're going in and protecting the inside here so we don't have any future problems. And the reason you don't see it, the hose go in all the way is a lot of times there's reinforcements here that have to do with crash stuff. So we'll go in two different directions. Start coating. So we did those, and now we're gonna go into frame rails and underneath. So it doesn't look like there's a whole lot when we're spraying this on but this stuff actually creeps around and will get into all types of places, so. The really cool thing about fluid film is it wicks into the metal. It actually will creep in and get into the pores and keep the water out. We're actually gonna go up in the corner here where the rear suspension attaches. You can see there's lots of holes here. So we're gonna go up into this piece of frame rail here and we're gonna do the inside of this frame rail. tip you'll be able to see what the actual coverage is I'm gonna switch it out to this one and let's go spray I'm gonna start at the back of the car here and I'm just gonna work my way front We try to get a nice thin coating on. Like I said, it doesn't need to be thick to work. So I'm going to go at spraying the rest of this vehicle and we'll come back and we'll show you what the finished product looks like.
All right, so I want to show you what it looks like once we're done. Um, we're about, I don't know, 45 minutes into spraying this car. We've covered this whole front subframe here. So inside and out. We've gone up here, we've done the frame rails. We've done the bottom of the struts, which you have to watch out if you take your car someplace else besides us. They will actually think that the strut is leaking. It is not. So we spray those up because these areas collect a lot of salt and we see a lot of struts go bad before their time because of rust on the bottom here. Uh, so we always spray the bottoms of the struts. Uh, we did the control arms inside. We come back here. You can see we've done the bottom of the frame and we've come out, we've sprayed it. It's not as heavy here, but it still does have coverage. But as we come along here, everything is sprayed all the way along here. Um, one of the reasons we don't like to have you wait for this is, as you can see, we do get it on the exhaust. What we like to do is run the car for a while and let this smoke off. So we like to let it sit and kind of run and let everything heat up and the smoke come off of it. We have the whole rear suspension covered here, as you can see. Uh, I did not coat the plastic gas tank, that will not rust. Uh, but as you come back, we did the whole back frame here. We did everything up in here. We came back, oh, I missed a spot. I gotta come back and hit that a little bit. Uh, but we did up in the frame rails here and we did along the rear bumper beam here and it makes it look like new as you can see as we got it on the yellow struts here as i stated before we always coat the bottoms because for whatever reason here in the salt belt the bottoms always seem to rust out so i'll put it down and do the wheel wells but for all intents and purposes, this car is done. Our guarantee on this is we spray it once. Their very first time, um, and we do the rocker panels, we do everything. Done correctly, we will never have to do those again. Uh, they will never rust out because nothing will wash this off. When you bring your car in uh, for an oil change or some tire rotation, any type of service, what we'll do is we'll touch up the areas in which this washes off. This is not a permanent type of coating like the asphalt based coating, but it also doesn't crack and collect all kinds of dirt. So that being said, when you go to bring it in for your very first time to have this coated, and if it's in the winter time, we're gonna need you to take that to the car wash and have an undercarriage wash done because we don't wanna lock the salt in underneath the fluid film. Then the vehicle will keep rusting, so. Uh, that being said, I'm going to put this down. I'm going to spray everything up. Um, and, oh, and those touch-ups when you bring your car in for service are absolutely free for years to come. So you pay for it once and basically you don't pay for it again as long as we're doing a service with it. So um, if you want to see the complete details of it, please check out our blog post on our website. Uh, that will have the complete details of what this is and what our promise is. And uh, we'll see you later. Have a great day.